Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. My name's John McDonald and today I want to show you uh, an arrangement that's a little bit different, a little bit funky and just a bit of fun actually. And what I wanted or where I started from was I had these orchid plants and they were quite nice Phalaenopsis orchids um, but they had been used before and it was really what can I do with them next. So I've got my Phalaenopsis orchids that I've cut off, I've got one of the plants, I've got some dried strelitzia leaves and a little bit of foliage as well. So the first thing I want to do is I've taken off my orchids and I've stripped the bark off the plant and I'm just going to use that on this vase and really just drape it so we can actually see these roots and see them in a different way. So normally the roots are hidden and you don't really get the opportunity to see that. Let's actually celebrate those roots and enjoy them. And I'm going to use the Strelitzia to create a framework for our orchids. So we can pop that in. And inside the vase, I've got some water. So straight away, we've created a little bit of a structure. And I'm going to use some pins, some pearl headed pins here, just to help hold this together. Now with the pins, you can make a decorative feature of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the leaf of the Aspidistra, place it where I want it, and then again using a pin, just come in like you would do a corsage and put a stitch through the back. So if I just show you there, what I've done is I've used the pin to stitch the leaf, but also creating this enclosed space. So I'm just going to work these in first and this will create really our frame that we have before we add our orchids. The pins are nice. I mean, it's a shame to put them in and then hide them. So we can actually put them in and celebrate that they're there. So don't worry about seeing the heads as long as you use ones that are relatively attractive. These ones are nice, big black headed pins which are great so you really actually see them now just to balance this I wanted to put a touch of fatsia in just so that we don't have purely the hanging greenery here so that little bit of fatsia there creates a little bit of interest and the same on the other side so again, if, if you need to strengthen your structure, then you, you can use the pins to do that. Okay, so we've created our basic structure. And what I'd like to do now is work my orchids up through that. These are absolutely beautiful, but they are getting a little bit tired and a little bit floppy. So really what I want to do is put this in in such a way that they're going to be supported and supported by this structure. And we just need to actually see how these are best going to sit. So don't make any assumptions when you're making an arrangement like this as to how you ultimately want it to look. You need to have a little bit of leeway as to how it's going to end up because you can go in different directions and you need to read the the rhythm and the flow that's in the material that you're going to use. So I've got one that's slightly different colour and we can split that down and bring that colour in as well. So just take the feel of the actual material as to how you want it to work. And again if you need a pin it's not a problem to use a pin. We can just use that pin just to help hold the flowers where we want it. So I'm going to bring this last piece. So we're keeping that darker colour lower down. I think is quite nice. So there you go. Essentially, we've created a very simple arrangement using materials that have been reappropriated and found the, from somewhere else. But what we've done is we've kept it quite basic. So we've done something interesting with the orchid by turning it upside down and removing the bark. We've created a couple of interesting areas with these looped leaves. And then we've just allowed the orchids to sit in a different way rather than the arching form they normally have. 
So quite a straightforward arrangement. I think you'll have fun if you try and have a wee go and just give it, give it a go. And if you've enjoyed what you've watched today, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.